Hello and welcome, I'm Mel Gashes and today I'll be talking a little bit about Gas Guzzlers Extreme. Gas Guzzlers Extreme is a racing and a combat game at the same time. The game presents itself with a lot of content for a racing game. You have the usual stuff like career mode, quick race, multiplayer, which is almost always empty, but inside of those you can have a lot more. In career mode you start with one car and you will unlock the others during your progress. Upgrades can be bought with the money you earn in the races. You can customize paint jobs, rims and even the license plate. Guns can be added to the car or shields or new exhaust, exhausts, engines, uh, you name it. The world is it's not enough. I would say that the game does not have real licensed cars, but imagine Chinese copies of famous cars. Yes, you're right, all the cars are blatant copies of real cars, and you spend some time guessing which is which. The graphics are ok, we know that this is not a AAA game, but the textures are quite nice and detailed. The cars are very well designed, keep in mind that this, this is not Gran Turismo, but the creators have done a nice and polished polished game. Surprisingly, this game has a quite nice handling. The physics of the car are not perfect, but very acceptable for a combat game. The AI is very nice and hard to beat, even at medium levels. There are some nice touches like the funny AI names and the option to choose from different types of commentaries. I've chosen to have Duke Nukem commenting my races, it's quite fun, to be honest. There are some different game modes. Power Race, a straightforward race with no weapons or combat involved. Battle Race, the standard normal race but with weapons and the possibility to knock out opponents. Knockout, 8 guys in an arena, the last one alive wins. Sponsored events. Well, sometimes you have you got sponsors and they put you in private capture the flag races. It's more or less this. There are some new pickups during the races. They give you some perks or simply ammunition. They and they can change the flow of the game. Shortcuts in the tracks are available, but they are not uh, real shortcuts. You have to be skilled to not uh, to take advantage of them. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I have to admit that the price is a bit steep at the moment, since it's marked at 22.99 heroes in Steam. But in a sale under 5 euros, it's a must-have for racing game fans. If you like this video just press like, if you don't, well unlike it, the button is there, leave a comment or subscribe my channel if you wish. See you next time!